Hi there guys, Matt here, hope you're all well. Sorry for the delay in videos this week, I was, well, I just got nailed by an illness really, I don't even know what it was, I still don't feel 100%, but the show must go on. We are back in the A2A Cessna 172, as you can see here, Golf Oscar Whiskey Sierra Tango. If you remember in the last video I did with this, we flew from Shoreham up to Stapleford, which is where we are now. So, we're going to carry on some nice wildlife in the background there in the form of well cows wildlife yeah they are I guess they're in the wild and they're living yeah okay anyway I digress uh, so we're flying from South End over to Clacton out on the eastern coast let me show you plan G okay so you've seen plan G before it's all good we're here Echo Golf Sierra Golf and we want to end up here Echo Golf Sierra Quebec both are grass strips, which have their own challenges, but we'll talk about that later. So, it's really simple. Out of Stapleford, whichever runway, probably 28 or one of the 22s, we're going to turn uh, either left or right, depending on the runway, and we're going to fly, essentially, in an easterly direction to pick up the coast, so over the top of Chelmsford, or just south of Chelmsford, over Malden, and then over to the coast, and then we'll see Clacton. We could follow the A road if we wanted to, but really, it, the time to get in the air would be the time to land again, so it's a bit irrelevant. As far as altitudes go, we can only go as high as 2500 here, 3500 here, 45 and 55 here. This bit is fine, we don't need to worry about it. So, uh, initially, I'm going to climb to 2000 and probably stay there because why fly so high when we don't need to? So that's it. Any questions, comments, etc. It's really simple. I just fancy an afternoon relaxing flight. Well, afternoon, it's actually 10 16 a.m., so there you go. Okay, back to the sim. Right, we are in a new VC today. Do you like this? It's pretty cool, isn't it? This is an av sim. Some guy uploaded like six or four or five, I can't remember how many there was, variants of, uh, of the A2A Cessna 172 VCs. Looks really good. I like it better than the one that it ships with but that's just my opinion although the artwork on most of the A2A products are pretty outstanding so this guy has had has added even his own little quirks be it is there life before coffee RTFM google.com some Chinese female if she's really famous and I've completely ignored that I'm so sorry I don't know why you would have a picture of a... Whatever, we'll move on. And then some decals over here in the form of... Warning! Read the warnings! <laughs> RTFM. Pilot. PP. PP. PPP. Copilot. Shut up. Pax. Don't touch anything. Apparently we can't smoke. This is all good. Okay, let's get this show on the road. So, remove the yokes. So I can see what I'm doing. Get rid of the wheel chocks tie down uh, blah, 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 tie downs and pito cover. Okay, we can get rid of the control lock, we can turn the masters on, sort the fuel shutoff valve and the selector, mixture in, nav, beacon, prime it for like a millisecond. That's enough. <laughs> Shout clear out the window. Bit of power, crank the engine, and away we go. 1000 RPM, Liz. Nice. Sorted! Okay. Uh, avionics can come on now. Switch everything or it's already on, it's coming to life. So we're on VATSIM, so 122.8, 7000 in the box. And that is everything, I would imagine. Now, I've never been to Stapleford before. It's a bit misty, isn't it? Oh, it's, uh, never mind. It's actually legit. Condensation. Yeah, I've never been to Stapleford before, so I don't. Well, I have. I landed here once, but I seriously got lost. So I think what I'm gonna do is just taxi onto the runway here and backtrack, and then just turn around and depart. That seems a sensible idea. So, flaps 10, grass runways, hooray. 
taxi ride to tell the Peter what uh, he's on as well. Everything seems to be good. We'll do the run-up checks when we're a bit further onto the runway. What else can we do? A bit of heat on. It might clear the windows for us. You can actually look at the manual and it tells you. So the cabin is cool, but warming rapidly, which will probably fix the uh, the visibility. So let's just put that like halfway in. There we go. There is some vents just at the front here, which we can open. So yeah, there you go. You can see it's all sorting itself out now. Nice. Good, 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 good. Okay. That's taxi. So, straight ahead. Oh, too much power. Oh, okay. Well, she don't do that. Bring the yokes back now. Straight through the grass. Because there's no real defined taxi. Stick to one side of the runway so it doesn't look like I'm going crazy. Check that all the control surfaces are doing what they need to do. Got the window. Uh, yep, yeah, all good. Are we at the end already? Yeah, I think we are. I think this is the end. So, the surface wind is from 330, so I don't even know if this is like a legit run up place to be honest, there's nothing denoted, so we'll just go around the bend. So the wind, parking brake, right let's have a look. So. Seventeen hundred RPM would be nice. Sixteen, seventeen, a little bit less. Good stuff. So left. Oh yeah, hundred-ish loss. Right. About the same. All is good. Strobe lights, landing lights. Turn the transponder on, but we don't need to. On well, to altitude. Right, let's get going. Oh, that was a weird noise. Trim set. Everything's good. Let's go. Okay, they've definitely changed the flight model. Jeez. <laughs> Did not expect that. <laughs> I knew there was a crosswind, but I didn't think it was that much of a crosswind. <laughs> wow, okay, let's plug the headphones in so I can actually hear myself think. There we go, that's better. Right, so we need actually I'm gonna turn to the left so we don't clip Stansted's control zone. I wanna just fly all the way around. Bring the flaps in. <laughs> I can't believe that. That that really took me by surprise. I didn't think it was just gonna lift the aircraft into the air. Look quite like that. Why you should always read the change me or the change log, whatever they're called. Change me? What the hell's a change me? I'm high or something. Right, so, in essence, we're going to loop all the way around to the left, fly an easterly heading, climb up to about 2,000 feet.
about there will do us quite well. We'll look down to the left in a minute. We'll see. There is Stapleford. We just took off from there. Okay. Across the M25 soon. Which is just below us. It's trim. Lots of trim. There's the M25. Passing. Oh, a bit of turbulence. Passing 1800 feet. Oh dear. The cloud isn't looking too great, is it? Come on, trim out. There we go. Very nice. Still climbing a little bit. Right, let's level there. Good, 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 good. I'm still doing 200 feet a minute ish. Come on. Nice. So we just follow this out to the east, there's the M25, and then we're just going to hit that clutch of airspace which allows us to climb to 35 if we need to. However, it's not a good idea with stuff like that in the way. It's a bit bouncy, isn't it? Now Clacton has 3618. <coughs> Excuse me. Which means that well, I don't think they'll have a Metar. No, they won't. But the closest is indicating again 330, so we're going to land on 36, which means we are going to land over the sea. Yay! We'll meet an A road soon, and that A road takes you all the way into Chelmsford. And then out the other side, out towards uh, a place called Witham, then Colchester. Any of you Essex boys out there? Or girls? Brightling Sea. There's some weird places. Burnham on Crouch. What sort of crack were they smoking when they named that place? Holland on sea. Clacton on sea. It's strange, isn't it? There's the A road now, just coming off the right hand side. I'm going to stay below this cloud if I can. There it is. That is the Erod. Billa Ricky, apparently. It's just where we're going over. And then Wickford. Malden and Chelmsford off to our left. Oh my god, these clouds. Maybe I should just try and climb above them. Nah, it's a terrible idea, man. It really is a terrible idea. Ooh, uh, look at the scenery. FTX England this is, by the way, for those of you that are going to ask like 600 times. FTX England from Orbex. I should really start leaving the links to what I'm using underneath my video. I always forget to do that and I don't know why. It's pretty weird. Okay, that's not good. Uh oh. Okay. So now we just look at instruments. Did not expect that. Did not expect that at all. So, gentle descent, please. There we go. Good old IMC. 
until we're underneath the clouds. We're literally going to have to descend down to like a thousand feet at this rate. to see the ground properly. Yeah, we're okay now. That was completely unexpected. And then the rain starts. Oh my god. Just nailing it down. What a day to go flying. Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible weather. this way I'm just gonna turn back to, to Stableford and land there. I nearly said South End then. South End is actually uh, just ahead of us. Or is that Manston? No, Manston's down the other way, isn't it? This is South End. Oh my god. This is definitely not VFR. Oh jeez. Where is um... <laughs> Where's the Clacton VOR? That's a good point. Let's see if Clacton VOR is anywhere near Clacton. It is 114.55. I feel that I need to back up here just in case something goes slightly wrong. So what was it? 11... just said it then. 114.55. So 114.55. So it's about zero six zero. I have a feeling we're about to lose all visibility soon. It just it doesn't look great, does it? Uh Mayday. Turn towards the Clacton VOR and then just track that. And hopefully by the time we get over there. It'll be a little better. Otherwise, right now, I'd be calling Essex Radar panicking. I know we've got a GPS, by the way, but it takes the fun out of it. Eyes are glued to the instruments. It's pretty crazy. Apparently, Wickford is just out to our right somewhere. Oh my god, that cloud. <laughs> Talk about dodging weather. That road up there leads to Chelmsford. According to Plan G. hundred feet and still struggling for visibility. Oh god. I should bring my friend up that lives in Clacton and be like, yo, what's the weather like over there? Because I'm about to get nailed by it. Pro tip, by the way. Um, I, I should have probably told you this when we were on the ground in Stapleford. Uh, since that core update for the Cessna 172, Priming it takes considerably less effort. 
you used to have to wait like between three and five seconds on the old update and now they've changed it so you literally just need to flick the fuel pump on for like a second less if you keep it on anymore it just floods the engine and you can't start it it took me literally like 20 times to start it and then eventually I got it I had to do a bit of searching on their forum as to why it was doing it very very sensitive and of course if it's a really warm day you don't really need to do it at all so eleven hundred feet good scenery though, very good scenery look at the go. probably go a bit faster to be fair We're about the halfway point now. Just overhead Molden, just on our left. Not that you'll be able to see it, but it is there, I promise you. And then from here, we're gonna pretty much go right over the sea. Now, Clacton is a grass strip, as I said at the start of the video, which means it's gonna be inherently more difficult to spot especially with this bad visibility so that's going to be a bit of fun trying to figure out where that is but we'll do it just trying to see where the sea is if I can find the sea I can just follow that coast up but it's difficult finding it even before that's what she said Yeah, I think it's here actually. Yeah, here's the sea, or the start of the sea. I guess this is some like little estuary or something, I don't know. It's not the Thames, I know that much. There's Malden on your left there. We can just follow this up, follow the coast, and then Clacton will magically appear. Well, it won't magically appear in front of us, but it will be in front of us at some point. Okay, so we're now tracking the coast, just past, uh, well, Malden is just behind us now. follow this all the way and we'll see Clacton on our left hand side somewhere and all I'll do is fly over the top of it make sure that it is Clacton well there isn't really anything around that could be something else but just to check and then we'll fly well if we go over the top from this direction then we'll just fly a right hand downwind for uh, the 3.6 and then come over the sea oh it's so beautiful apparently there's a public footpath as well that crosses the, the runway at Clacton which is a bit strange and you are free to use it hence public so I guess that would be pretty fun if you're a pedestrian and you know they get wiped out by a Cessna landing I don't know how they manage that I mean they must like have some sort of system to block it off when planes are 
landing and uh, departing. So, over there... Oh, is that a boat? Oh, it is! Look at that! It's a little harbour, I guess. I don't know where that is. Never been there before. I'm going to descend down to... Uh, well, I'm going to keep it just above 500 feet, but not any lower, because this visibility is getting a little bit ridiculous. Now, we just need to keep a good lookout now, because it'll be around here somewhere. I'm not quite sure where. What is that? It's like a caravan park or something. What? Oh, it's just a bunch of houses. I thought it was a bunch of caravans. It's a bit weird. A bit of power on, actually. It's around here somewhere. There, there is okay. It's over here. This is apparently where the the coast swings around and it dips in, and then it's on the right somewhere over here. I can't see a thing. This is absolutely ridiculous. We're only at a thousand feet as well. I highly doubt they'll be doing any visual flying today. I like this new update though, it's really cool. That takeoff as you saw was really did take me by surprise, I didn't expect it to react like that. That's the first time I've legitimately flown a Cessna on flight sim and the wind has actually lifted one of the wings at first. Normally you just kind of get a side shift and it's all very meh. It's not very good but that was nice. That really did do it for me. You saw it yourself anyway, so I don't need to convince anyone. <laughs> right, it should be here somewhere. I wish there was like landmarks nearby that I could base it off. There probably is, I mean, if you fly out of here in real life, you probably know this place like the back of your hand, even the run into it, but I have no idea. I'm just basing it off what the charts tell me and that is that it's a grass strip it's got a northerly and a southerly runway and that's really about it let's have a look a bit further forward and look over the nose see if I can see it, what is this? it's like a caravan park or something it's where all the gypsies live I don't even know yeah it's a good point actually. I wonder if gypsies get offended if you call them gypsies. Well, I don't think they would, but maybe they would, I don't know. Where is this goddamn airfield? It should be around here somewhere. Am I legitimately that blind that I can't see it? I'm looking for like footpaths and stuff like that. I mean, look at that. What is that down there? Is this like, literally like a holiday park or something? I just can't see it anywhere. Wait, is that it? Is that it down there? Oh my god, I think that's it. It is. Th there's the runway. What is that? See if I've got a land. Oh yeah, there's a foot. Yeah, because there's a footpath going over the middle. Oh my god, that is crazy. That is actually crazy. Wait, is that a runway? It actually is a runway. That is insane. What is this place? I'm actually going to go on the external view just to show you. Look at that. That's what we've got to land at. 
That is so messed up. Nice wind as well pushing us. Right. Okay, let's position ourselves. There's a pier. So, we'll go around this way. And fly ahead 180. Whilst in a crazy descent. There we go. Right, that should give us a nice turn for final if I could see it. I'm going to slow down right now, so flat 10. Look at it, it's just hidden out in the middle of nowhere. What a weird place. Bit of power in the turn. I'll keep 600 feet for now so I can see where I'm going. A bit more flat. Right, there's a base leg, a bit of power. Where is it? I lost it again. Right, I'm gonna go panic mode and full flap. I think it's just to the right here. I'm looking for that footpath. Where is it? Oh my god, I can't see it. I should know, I think I see it now. I think, yeah, it's there. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> what is this place? I need to come down here real life. I need to see this for myself. Look at that. It's absolutely tiny. Right, we'll start bringing the power back. Gradual descent. 70 knots ish. Oh my Jesus Christ. Whoops. That view. Nice tree in the way, as we like to see. Winds all over the show. Envy anyone flying out of this place. Why is there a lamppost right on the final approach track? Oh, look at the goats! What is this place? This is so weird. Might end up landing like halfway down the runway here, which is not good. Oh, jeez. I might have overshot. Oh my god, I bounced it. I'm going around. In a bit, 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 in a bit. Let's try that again. <sighs> that was not good. That was not good. <laughs> okay. Never again am I coming to this place. Wow. Oh, blow seagulls! Did you see that near miss with those seagulls? What is this place? Uh, I don't even know what to say. What was all that about? <laughs> Note to self, landing on grass is not easy. I'm going to keep the flaps down. There's no point in putting them back up. I'm just going to whip it round. Watch the speed though. It's the only thing that's my nemesis at the moment. Can't believe that just happened. That was ridiculous. Right, let's try that again. A short base, the final. This time I'm going to come in bang on 60 knots. I'll bring it in on, on the, the kind of story side of things. 
there's only one person in the plane anyway, it's fine. It's not as if it's got a mass amount of weight in it. Right, where is it? I've lost it again. Oh, there it is. Let me get a bit lower this time. The joys of flying virtual planes. If that was real life right now, well, we wouldn't be flying in this sort of weather anyway, but panic mode would be setting in right about now. First landing, you end up bouncing, literally bouncing off the floor. Not fun. Watch the speed. Speed's actually okay. Problem is, is those trees. Like, why would you place trees just here? It's already hard enough to land here. Right, bring the power right back. Like, literally, all the way back. I've got to be really cautious now, though, with that speed. 60, about 62 knots. Good idea, Matt. Good idea. Skim that tree. There we go. Right, let me just sink the altitude and meet that with power. There we go. Over the road. Ah. And then all the way off the power. Come on. Come on, not again! Just get that! There we go. Oh, look at this guy, plane spotting. Oh, look, he's waving. Sup, bro? Sup, how's it going? That guy looks far too happy for life. <laughs> anyway. Flaps. Spin it around on the runway. Never come into this place again. What a strange little airfield. I can imagine though, this is actually super fun to train out of. You get some nice exposure to. Well, maybe it's just flights and making it more complicated than it actually is. I don't know. I don't even know where you park, to be honest. Is that a caravan? Oh no, it's an RV. Gliders, Piper Cubs, erect windsock in the completely wrong direction. I guess we should park on the right with all these other Cessnas. Hide the yokes now, I don't need them anymore. Turn the transponder off. Oh, not off, just to stand by. Yeah, break. Right, how do you park here? Is it is that a cross runway or is that just a taxi? Oh, it's, I think it's a taxi actually. Because there was only one documented runway anyway, so. Right, landing lights off, strobe lights off. Go around the back of all these planes. I think it's probably the best idea. We'll just stick it on the end here where this piper is. That'll do. I don't even know if that's the right place, but it'll do. <laughs> right, parking brake. I can get rid of the, uh, the headphones now. In the bizzle engine. And there 
There we go. There we go. Let's just turn everything off. Screw it. That was weird as hell. That was seriously weird. It's not often I get stumped like that. Look at those seagulls. Dirty pricks trying to kill me on final approach. Did you see it when I turned right? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I did a bit. I mean, it's fun. It's always fun. But, uh, yeah, this place is, is a bit strange. I'm not going to lie. This is Clacton, by the way. I'll leave all the details below the video anyway. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed yourself. Take care. See you later.